When Tommy and I first allocated way back in 1991, the Kosovo people had seen men with light skin before. I mean, not very many, but they had seen a man of lighter color skin, but they'd never seen a woman or a baby with light skin. I was the first one, and when, when we first allocated Rachel, our Rachel was three months old when we moved to Musula, to our village. And so I was the first woman with light colored skin. Well, they would come up and they would just stroke my arms, my legs. They would, of course, my hair wasn't gray back then, <laughs> but they would touch my hair. A couple of years into our program, I was having a particularly hard day uh, just walking through the village and thinking about uh, our whole purpose and being there and if we were really making a difference and um, you know the Lord has a way of bringing things into your path that uh, encourage you. Well this particular day I really needed it and as I was walking along I saw this mother who was sitting there and she had uh, a belum. Okay? And a belum is a string bag that they carry things in and in this belum it was a special one because it was made for her baby. And um, as I looked at her, and I noticed it was kind of closed, and I wanted to see her baby. So I walked up to her, and um, this is a picture that I took that day of the baby that she had in her belum. And as I looked at this uh, baby in the face of this baby, um, the Lord just brought to my mind, and he says, you really are making a difference here in what you're doing and what you will do. This baby will be one of the first people that will actually read the printed New Testament when you're finished with it. So looking at this picture, looking back on it, I know that this baby is now probably 26 years old. It's a young man who's in our village, and uh, he will definitely be one of the first ones to come and get one of these New Testaments. And it's just going to be really exciting to see that. This picture is a special one because it, it reminds me of his faithfulness to us, uh, especially when we're feeling uh, that we're not really making a difference. Long dedication of Aste. Our prayers for the Kosovo people is that as they read God's Word in their own language, that they will get to know the Living Word, that they will begin to understand that God actually speaks through His Word to His people, that they'll learn to listen as they sit with Him, you know, reading His Word and fall deeply in love with the living Christ. That's our prayer. Mm -hmm.